Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show how to use method overloading. Now, on the screen, I have here three different methods with all the methods having different method names, but with different uh, number of varying number of uh, parameters. It just calculates the sum of the value it receives and returns uh, the total back and that gets stored and it, then it gets printed out. That, that's all it's doing. Three simple methods. So the way I've done is fine. But you have an option in Java, which is called method overloading. And method overloading means providing two or more separate methods in a class with the same name, but with different parameters. So let us see if we can we can simplify this to make it more readable, more handy and more reliable. If I change the names to sum for all the three. Now, isn't this better than the previous one? Obviously, I have to change here too. Here. Now, that is that the first method is highlighted purely because I have supplied two. Um, um, I'm supplying two values here. If I change, if I add one more, it'll, it'll this Java will recognize this as the right method. Similarly, if I supply one more, it'll be this one. Now this is method overloading because I got the same name for all the three but with different varying number of parameters. So let us see what happens if I duplicate this. It gives me error because it's saying sum int int is already defined. Now if I ch let's try changing it changing the data type of, of of this um, parameter to double, Let's see if it works. Obviously, I had to change the return method return type to double. There you go. So you could <clears throat> you could um, have two methods with the same number of parameters, but with different data type. This is method overloading, having the same name, so you don't have to remember the uh, the long method names. Only thing you have to bear in mind is that it has to be either the number of number of parameters um, needs to be different, or they have to have different um, data type, as you see here. Now you may or uh, may not ha have the same um, method return type. It doesn't matter. So let's see if I supply, I want to call this method. So I have to obviously supply a double value and then two. You can see this gets, um, this, this method gets enabled. It's giving, giving me an error here because that needs to be double in this case. So if you run this, you can see it should be 4.5. There you go, the value is 4.5. This actually is um, method overloading. Having the, is, now, if you look at this, this is quite readable and, um, um, and quite easy to remem uh, remember the method names. In uh, some of them, um, uh, so I've heard some um, some of the Java developers calling method overloading, or they're referring to method overloading as um, compile time polymorphism, because um, Java identifies the right method at the time of, of compilation. You could um, uh, another thing is you can um, you can have um, method overloading. In static methods, I have static methods here. I've, I I had to declare them them as static because I'm calling um, these methods from this main method, which is static. You can also use method overloading in instance methods, and 
also you can use um, method overloading in, in a single class as you see here or in subclasses when you have when you have inheritance when you extend um, uh, from a master class you can you can still use uh, method overloading uh, so that is what method overloading in java is i hope you um, learned something out of it out of this video um, if you find it useful please do subscribe and goodbye